guys what's up welcome back to my channel so today's video of course is going to be how to properly take down your protective hairstyle um so go ahead and grab you some patience and maybe a good tv show maybe catch up with a friend on the phone or listen to a good playlist or something um because it will be kind of a lengthy process but what you'll end up seeing is that at the end of this we'll save more hair we won't get impatient with our hair um and we also won't have a huge amount of shedding um, when it's time for us to wash our hair you know because typically at the protective style we have a lot of shedding just because our hair is still naturally you know shedding while the protective style is in and it can be a little alarming so we're just going to cut back and you know minimize that as much as possible so if you want to see how i take down my protective styles then just keep watching okay so the first thing you want to do of course is move a portion of your hair out of the way and then what i want to do i'm going to start cutting um my braids i'm going to pick a spot where i know my hair is not and then i'm just gonna you know cut them and then i'll start untwisting so i know my hair doesn't come down that low so let's cut And then you can have like a trash bag or whatever just waiting for you to put this stuff in there. okay so as you can see i like to start at the back so because they were these were twists um they're easy to you know quickly unravel and they're just braided at the root so i'm gonna start at the back um removing these and of course like later on throughout the video i'll you know slow it down but basically the important part of course is taking down the root because of course there's going to be build up um you know and some new growth as well depending on how long you kept your protective style in but the patience comes there because I have no utensils other than clips to clip my hair out of the way as well as you know scissors that I used to cut but all you need you know are your hands and your fingers because even though our hair is dry we still want to make sure that we're finger detangling so we get out you know all those knots all that build up you know and possibly any lint um, you know that may have gotten caught at the root so as you can see, um, I removed that one super, you know, easily and very quickly. Um, and so as you can see, I'm just raking my fingers, um, lightly detangling this area um, or, you know, the section rather. But yeah, I'm lightly detangling this section and I'm just running my fingers through it to make sure, um, you know, that it's detangled, that there aren't any kinks. And yeah, so so as you can see um this is how much shedding came from that area already so i'll just set that you know to the side 
um, and then maybe I'll you know save the shedding to show you at the end <laughs> but my hands are kind of I guess oily kind of greasy but it probably comes from the oil mixture that I would put on my hair um, you know as I was keeping it moisturized and sealing it with some oil so right now I'm just lightly twisting um, this area I don't know why I keep saying this area. Lightly twisting this section, and then I'm gonna do the same thing with all the other ones. All right, guys, I'm back. So I just wanted to show y'all how much hair, um, I guess, that I was able to remove from the twist that I just took out. So that's shed hair. Um, and then these are my twists. Um, as you can see, you don't have to twist every individual section, um, you know, cause then it'll be an extra lot of work to unravel them. But some of them I just grouped together so that was about maybe half of my head but nonetheless we are moving forward All right, so this is what the hair is looking like right now. Not bad, not bad. So right here is all of my shedding, basically. Let me roll it up. But yeah so that's how much hair I lost in about three weeks so what I'm gonna do right now is just split my hair down the middle put this side away and then we're just gonna go in with a pick to make sure there aren't any kinks at the root 
and just getting out any additional kinks that maybe you know were missed of course still be gentle A little more extra shading came out but once I get to a point where I can go straight from that part all the way down and through the hair to me that's a good sign so I'm gonna tuck this side away clip it up Do the same thing to the other side. Okay. So now that I've done both sides, I still like to whoa, shake it all out. Of course. And then I just like to go through one more time. All right, so at this point, your hair is ready. It's all detangled, um, you know, and ready to be washed. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, if you wanna see my wash process, definitely stay tuned for the next video. But right now, I'm just putting it in four sections because it's pretty poofy right now but yeah this is essentially the end of the video Alright guys, so this is the end of the video. Um, as you can see, it didn't take too long. I'm not even sure what time I started um, this process, but I'll say that I've been doing it in real time. Definitely no more than an hour and a half, maybe exactly an hour and a half. But nonetheless, um, my hair is ready to be washed. It's detangled and I'm going to wash it in these sections. Um, I may do it in four sections. It depends. Um, but nonetheless, yeah. This is how you properly take down your protective style um, without you know any extra shedding, without any extra tugging. Just make sure you come with some patience and come with some scissors. Um, and that's about it. So until you know the next video, I'll see y'all later. Bye guys.